Hey, this is Matt once again. What about the other videos that paid requests this time for Nate? Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos, topics, reactions, commentaries, reviews, re reviews, what have you, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both things are down below in the info box. Now, this is for <laughs> Eight Crazy Nights from 2002, which this is when Adam Sandler was still in his heyday. This is when. He was doing films, I think, after this anger management. And I think this year, 2002, he also did Mr. Deeds, which I liked it. Not a lot of people love it. I did why. It's not one of his best ones. I liked it for what it was. But it was still a big hit. And see, like, for the most part, anything Adam Sandler did was a big hit. Except either a movie like Bulletproof with him and Damon Wayans, which I had fun with. I think it's an underrated movie. Or this one. This is, at the time, one of his few bombs. And it's an animated movie. And I get the idea. Hey, Adam Sandler's very popular. Adam Sandler's made a lot of money. So, he's very famous for the Hanukkah song. Let's make a movie. Something to do with Christmas or Hanukkah, however you want to put it. Oh, okay, let's do something different. Let's make it an animated film instead of a live-action film. And as an anime film, it's an R-rated, raunchy comedy of a film, which wasn't the norm. I mean, every once in a while, of course, you get a South Park or later on Sausage Party, but it's not like something that's released every month, especially at this time in 2002. His company, Happy Madison, produces it. He stars in it, and he does a couple voices. He does the lead, Davey, who is complete utter jerk uh, he voices this 69 year old white guy named whitey old mr Bagu looking guy uh, rob schneider's in it as the voice of the narrator he also voices this chinese restaurant guy with like very broken english and i'm sitting there going wow i can't believe they got away with that Actually, I can get away with it because Rob Schneider did that quite a bit. Uh, Kevin Nealon does a voice as the mayor. Uh, there might be other people, but those are the ones I recognize. I know Nate said he's a big fan of it. That's cool. I thought this was awful. I thought it was awful back then. It's awful now. The two positive notes I can give it is, number one, it's thankfully short. By the time the end credits start, it's only like an hour and 19 minutes. So, that's good. And the animation. The animation is kind of in the style... If you remember The Iron Giant, which is a pretty good movie. The Iron Giant, that the way the humans look in that... Is kind of the animation style in this. So, I don't really have a lot of problems with the animation. It's just sad it was wasted on this piece of shit. And I do think it's a piece of shit. It's... One of, would it be in the top five worst Adam Sandler comedies? Maybe. Jaja Jill's number one. Ridiculous Six is up there. I don't know if it'd be top five, but it's it's up there. Tis the Davy character, I get where they're going. They're going for this Scrooge aspect where this guy is totally inhospitable, negative, hated. And then something happens and he turns his life around. They give a bit of backstory where he was a great basketball player as a kid. And he helped his team win the big game. But then found out that his parents died. And so that's when he became much more shut off emotionally. And just became a prick to everybody in town. But they go so overboard with him being a prick. They go so overboard with him being such a douchebag that he becomes irredeemable. To me, he was an absolutely irredeemable character, and they try to make the turn, and I don't buy the turn. They try to, where there's this car that he never read, and he did it, and then that's where he started feeling, because the pairs wrote, keep being that good kid that you are, never change. But the way Adam Sandler does the voice acting, where at times he just seems either blasé or uninterested or yeah i'm just i'm you know i'm just doing my regular voice and whatever 
The voice of Whitey was very ear scratching, ear raping, irritating, annoying, high voice. Oh, let me tell you something. Oh, we're doing this happy medicine and the made a film. This is that's a technical foul. I can't even do it because it's just so. It makes my balls seep back into my body because it doesn't want to be dropped in the vicinity of this fucking voice. That's what this voice does. Mates, this voice does makes balls shrill up back into your body. So tea bagging can be impossible. I just such an irritating voice. Oh, he was just kidding. There's nothing wrong. He was just kidding. There's nothing wrong with your boobs. So, it just shows a Davy, Adam Sam's character being a complete other fucking douchebag, giving the longest burp he can do, mooning tar tarlers and farting away, wrecking areas, he gets arrested, he's told that he's gotta be Mr. Whitey, <laughs> which basically the black sheep now, with Chris Farley, to Whitey! <laughs> See, that was funny. That was actually a funny movie. This this old Mr. Magoo looking referee of a basketball whitey says, let me take him in. And if he does anything wrong, I'll let you know and he'll go to jail for 10 years. And during like the basketball game, Adam Sandler makes fun of an overweight kid calling him fat. And you need a bra, kid. Makes the kid cry. Even when the old man goes into seizure, Adam Sam's tears is nonchalant. Okay, game is called over, old man season, and that kid, you're on that team, well, you're losing because I just want to see you try again. And there's never a moment where he rectifies that and he apologizes to the kid or he makes the kid happy. There's never any rectif rectification of that. I mean, you, even Scrooge with Bill Murray, he tries to rectify with Bob Ted Goldthway and some of the people, and you have that scene alone at the end in front of everybody. Put a little love in your heart. That movie is not only funnier, but also has more sincere heart to it, and you buy Bill Murray's turn because of the circumstances he goes through. But see, because you see throughout the film, the armor chipped away again and again and again. This... Not really the case. You just see a lot of fucking product placement. Like Whitey takes Davy to the mall and there's Foot Locker. There's Dunkin' Donuts. There's Radio Shack. There's Panda Express. There's even a fucking scene when he breaks to a mall drunk. He sits down and the fucking logos of the fucking establishments come out. The logo for Foot Locker. The logo for Panda Express. The logo for uh, on this furniture place. GNC. And the logo for that. And they're trying to, in his delusion, they're trying to talk to him to make him open up his emotions. I'm like, are you fucking. That, that'd be like me making a fucking movie. And all of a sudden. McDonald's, Burger King, Pizza come in to congratulate me or to help me shape up or ship out. I did it. There's plenty of movies I love that have product placement. But a lot of Adam Sandler stuff is st st stuff like this. It's just so blatant, you know. My God, man. I get it. You're advertising these places. F fuck. So Davey's just treating the old man like shit again and again and again while the old man, you know, also voiced by Adam Sandler, is being the sweetest guy. It's just sad that he has such an annoying voice. He's in a porta potty. Adam Davey pushes him down. He's covered in shit. And literally Adam Sandler's Davey puts a fucking hose on him and freezes him. Smell you later, poops at all. So that's another thing. You got all this fucking fart jokes, shit jokes. I mean, there's a fucking scene where deer 
they like helping out this old guy. Like they help him push his car that's stuck. Well, they lick the ice off, and when they're done, they smile and talk about shit eating grin. Literally, shit eating grins. So, I guess if you want to see animated deer have shit eating grins, this is your fucking movie. It can just eat shit. There's a little bit of Davy, his armor dwindling down a little bit as he plays his basketball game with this kid against these two assholes and they win. This is Adam Sandler. You gotta put some basketball in there because he's a big basketball fan. I mean, if you want to see that, go watch Hustle, which came out recently. Much better Adam Sandler basketball than this. I'm trying to think, was there a scene where the deer laugh at a jolt and shit? Or what, maybe I, I'm trying to remember that scene. Does the, the one I'm thinking of is the shit-eating grin stuff. One leads to another. Adam Sandler gets back to his place. It's been burned down by the people that he beat in the basketball game. Whitey and his... Whatever the hell she was. With another annoying voice. Oy vey, I don't know how you're doing this. Oh my god. And so, Sandler stays with them. And very quickly, for some reason, just after doing a couple things, just starts seeming like he's having fun hanging out with them. But then very quickly, he talks shit to them. And even throws the, the lady's wig away. That's when he gets drunk, goes to a fucking mall, and a bunch of logos either sing to him, or try to <laughs> fucking help him. Meanwhile, this is bad story, not even bad story, but Whitey wants this patch to showcase that he, who's the best person in town, and he's 69 years old, he's been waiting this for decades, and once again they ignore him that and because of what Davey said before he feels no one in the town gives a shit about him and then Adam Sandler comes in and says well look what he did for all you guys and gets the town to realize how much they take Whitey for he stands there for Whitey which that's a phrase that could be said in the, the wrong place the wrong time He gets the patch, he has a seizure, people are happy. For some reason, out of the blue, it's like Davy and the this one girl, they're holding hands as if they're going to go on a date together. I'm like, yeah, that girl and his t her tip pop up every once in a while, but they've rarely had any conversations other than some flashback where they liked each other when they were kids, but in the present time not really just seemed unearned that's the thing a lot of stuff's felt unearned and a lot of really raunchy crappy jokes it wasn't funny you have a very despicable Davy Adam Sandler or a very annoying voice with Whitey Adam Sandler so you get the worst of it the despicable that you hate and the annoying voice that makes your ears bleed and I'm, I don't, Rob Schneider's not the best. I didn't narrate a story either. I'm surprised there wasn't more Adam Sandler's buddies like Steve Buscemi and like all these other people. And I'm surprised by that. As this is before Kevin James. Otherwise, I'm sure Kevin James would have been in this as well. Probably as a Santa Claus that takes a dump in the ditch or something or. As Santa Claus, and then Davy takes a dump on him. I don't know. It just feels like an empty story where his heart isn't earned. It's not really that funny. There's a lot of crappy, you shit jokes, fart jokes. And. Like South Park, at least, they have a bit more wit to it, a little bit more sparks to it. Unlike this. And even the title, Eight Crazy Nights, if it was one of those where maybe Adam Sandler and some friends, 
they're going through the eight crazy nights and each night gets crazier and crazier and you have the story of whatever the story could be if you want to have Adam Sandler be a dick then have some close friends who call him out on it um, hell let David Spade do something different and be the the nice regular guy who calls Adam Sandler out on his bullshit that'd be refreshing that's kind of what the do-over tried to do, and that's one of the things I didn't mind about that film. It's a f flawed film, but I liked the do-over for what it was. Well, I don't know, I just, I felt like there's a lot of missed opportunity because of the pretty solid animation. It's just sad it was wasted on such a lame duck fuck of a concept. With a unfunny script and irritating characters. Sorry, my body literally wanted to project my lungs out of it. So I couldn't breathe, so I couldn't talk, so I don't talk about this fucking movie anymore. So, with that said, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later.